hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about how we can detect the patterns and conditions into power bi reports ever changing data and create a custom power automate or a ms flow to do any further or subsequent actions so we are going to take help of data activators which is fairly a new concept where in microsoft fabric or power bi we are creating all our alerts or custom trigger conditions within one single place and we are managing the subsequent action which should happen on whenever the constant data stream or the data sources which we are having is changing. Our business users can describe their business conditions with a no code experience just like sending email, team no teams notification, calling third party actions that sort of subsequent action can be taken so right now I am into my power automate but we are going to come over here later so I have to go to power bi again like power bi is again one integral part of power platform and uh, I'll be taking example of one of the existing report where I would be creating some alert I wish to have some alert which can take which can allow me to create further action or custom activities uh, post my some data changes into my report so over here I'll go to one of my report that is let's say financial report 2020 and I'll open this report so people who have already worked in power bi so it's a very uh, basic report I would say like on the financial data and I wish to have some custom actions on my this card where some notification should happen so people must be aware that uh, who are working in power bi that they can create a quick notification or set an alert using this action if i click on this bell icon i won't able to get this visual on which visual you want to create this alert so these are all visuals into my this report but i'll be just selecting this card one which is nothing but showing my overall profit so what i want to do over here i would be setting up what condition that if my profit changes or becomes greater than let's say 10 million then i would like to send some accolades to my team members or to my finance team appraise them something like that so i'll just put that condition and as an action we can send an email into teams message so these are the basic actions we can take but we are going to extend this notification to do much more custom actions probably like uh, creating some other data sources like and adding entry to our different systems so that can be done but how so here like we have a new feature that is data activator you can see at the top data activator is in preview now and you can check out like what features data activator provides so basically I can give you a basic overview that a data activator is a no code experience again a part of power bi new ms fabric framework where like we can detect the patterns the changes into our data and do monitoring of the data and then actually take custom actions so right now I am just going to create this alert first of all so that I can show you like where this alert will get fall so I am just creating it it will take a moment so right now this alert is created now I can open this alert into my data activator and this is opening into a fabric as a component into my power bi alerts you see like all the alerts are defaultly uh, are getting saved into my power bi alerts so this is the new alert or the trigger uh, or the notification alert which we just created so you can see like we have a design builder for it where we can specify the triggers and the properties which would fall under this entire uh, new alert and the oh finally this event so what what are events are events are data activator consider all the data sources to be a stream of events an event is nothing but an observation like what is how the state of object is being changed so we'll start from our trigger so i'll just scroll up so that we can see what it GUI is showing to us so over here in trigger we say it's like if profit becomes 10 greater than 10 million okay 
and then it should select the property so right now because it's my card I have only one property so if it's other uh, I would say card or the chart then you would be having multiple properties multiple uh, data objects I would say which you can select as part of your trigger condition and lately in this detect detect is the actual condition where it becomes greater than so over here if I select this one you can check like we have this numeral numeric condition log checks and this logical if gets become false true and common when new data arrives or something changes to from let's say like with the text it changes from country to country then you can have those sort of conditions so it's basically detect is an area where you can define your custom condition or filters and then lately we have this act act is nothing but action so right now in custom in old traditional alerts we used to have only two options where send an email or teams message but data activator we have this new custom action where i can create one power automate which can do much more complex operation for us so i am going to create one power automate just to give you a feeling how you, how it will be tied up to, to your this data activator when something data changes into your report so i'll just say this name of your action so i want to actually do then affiliates to my finance team so i'll just keep it as simple and i'll input field so this input field would be available into my power automate so i'll just say that dynamically or i can type in my this property name which i want to be available inside and copy your action connection string so this you need to copy because while creating power automate this connection string would be used by so just opening notepad copying this so that we can use it and the fourth step is create your flow in power automate and create a flow so it will create a flow and we will see like what trigger it's actually adding into that power automate so now you see like I have this when a data activated trigger fires so those people who has already must be thinking that we can create this alert notification using other connector of power automate I'll just show you if I go to other screen and I will go to not my flows to the template so this, we have one more uh, action I would say the power automate template trigger flow with the power BI data driven alert so this is again nothing but the alert base trigger so if I create this power automate I'm just giving you this difference that what difference these two power automate would have so this traditional one would be creating this alert whenever an alert is created into a power bi and the other one the new one with the data activator which we are creating is having when data activator triggers fire so both are different don't get confused with them so i'll just copy the connection string which we recently copied from our previous step and pasting this so that we can make a connection so now the connection is established and we can go to this second action of right now I'll just choose the simple one sending email and making an entry to SharePoint list any SharePoint list so I'll just say right now I'll just provide you can read it from any list which holds all the finance team members or any SharePoint group but you have to do some other custom operations before doing this and in this one I'll just pick the from the dynamic in the dynamic field we would be having input fields which are being passed from data activator alert and in the body as well you can just say congratulations on achieving targets So this is how I just added one simple action to it and you can save it. And after sending email, I wish to add one more action just to add an item to my winning streak list. So you can just create an item. Once this monthly target is achieved, you can set your site. 
I'll just choose one of my site and one of my list. So let's say this winning streaks. So as soon as our target is done, we want to create an entry or winning winning streak list. It will create it and we are going to save. And we'll be giving a name to this power automate. So this one is saved. You can do much more complex operations. For example, like after this report uh, triggers, we want to create a use case into our Salesforce or some third party uh, system, then you can very well use those your connectors and create or do a, those complex operations. So it's just a way I'm showing you how you can create end to end whenever data changes into a Power BI. So I'm done creating this Power Automate. And over here, so once it's created, we are not yet done with your with our this custom trigger. So we have to change this to our custom action, which we just created. And we have to add the property, the property which we want to pass it to, pass to our power automate. So profit we want to pass in and additional information. So this additional information can also be passed, which can be used into your power automate. So now it's created, we can update our this alert and now we can do a fit test rather than waiting the our card have the data change we can just test this via this option send me as test alert and data activator text successfully sent from data activator so we'll just go to our power automate we will check whether we got an running entry or not so this is pretty much immediate we got it and it must have completed our both the action sending email and creating our this item into our one of the winning streak list so that's how you can connect power bi reports data changes using data activator via power automate to do some custom complex operations on some data stream changes happens into your report so it's pretty useful feature i would say whenever you want to create in a new way you want to create it because in traditional way we have a way of uh, set alert where we can notify the teams but it gives us more leverage or flexibility to do much comprehensive actions post our data changes or some something changes into our report so that's i want to share with you guys if you feel like like it's useful or beneficial for you then do drop your comments and if you have any further questions on it then also i would be happy to answer so that is it for today's video. Thank you.